Hello you lot, how's it going? I've got this new damper for the caravan. It goes on the hitch at the front where you for the braking system. because um, the old damper is no good because every time you brake the caravan just boom smashes straight into the back of the car and then when you pull away it goes boom again. So this damper is designed to take away that sort of slack, you know, just ease everything make everything work nice and smoothly managed to get this one for 30 quid it's a maypole one um, the original like, proper alco one is like 109 pounds so we'll see how well this 30 pound maypole one actually holds up should be fairly easy to change I hope let's go and have a look old damper off and old damper original alco and new damper all we've got to do is get that bolt out of there put that bolt in there the nut on the end of it put the spacer back on and hopefully it should all slide back together that should be a lot better having that than that old one
In the end, I ended up using a ratchet strap and strapped, hooked it onto there, hooked it onto another bit underneath. Had the old damper in the end and used the ratchet strap to pull the damper in and then I could get the bolt in the hole. And uh, now we're away, I've just got to put the other bolts on. Hopefully that's a job done. Well that was actually a job really well done. I was really pleased with how that went to be honest. I've never actually taken a damper off of the uh, of a hitch of a caravan or a trailer before. 15 about yeah, 15 years of driving pulling trailers. I've never had one foul and never bought a trailer or a caravan with one that has already fouled. So um, first time doing it and to be honest it was an easy job. The most difficult part was that stupid um, what they call them gaiters or bellows whatever you want to call them a rubber thing on the front of the hitch there that protects it from getting dirt keeps the grease in um, getting that back on because that's split I've got to put a new one on so I'm gonna have to do it all over again at some point um, which is gonna be but I know how to do it now um, put a new one of them on at some point getting that back on was difficult and getting the new damper pushed in far enough and where I could put the bolt through, that was uh, another, the dip, that was the hardest part. Um, should have two people really, um, but I only had just me. Um, so I managed to get it done with that ratchet strap. I thought I was filming that, but it turns out I wasn't. So you saw me struggling and then you saw all of it, a sudden it was done. But there we go, I used a ratchet strap, put it round it, hooked it on and just tightened the strap. And that pushed in the old damper into the new damper, which then meant I could get the bolt through easily. So job done now to go and have a look at another problem that's occurring and for that we're gonna need one of these um, I've got three or four of these but I think this one we'll use this time so my carpet's still looking good that I uh, use the old vanish on I've got to put all that bedding I've got to put the covers on the bed on the duvet and put the pillowcases on and I'll put them underneath the chair and that but the bit I need to look at is we've had a lot of rain right and about five years ago there was a bit of damp that happened in that corner. Um, you can still kind of see it there. It's been repaired and sealed up. But there's also another bit that goes along the back of the city um, that was repaired. Um, but then it got damp again, but it got sealed. It didn't get to the point where it needed to be taken out. It just got resealed. So just going to check to see what it's like after all the rain. I know that it was 20% when it was dry weather. Um, about a week of no rain it was reading 20% so let's see what it reads after a couple of days of intermittent rain so this is the bit we're interested in there's a rail that goes along there and a piece of framework and it goes up there that got wet after it was repaired um, but then it got sealed up on the outside and it didn't get um, you know it didn't the, the piece of frame there didn't actually get replaced it was just sealed up on the outside um, and it goes down there and also it goes down into there. So I'm just gonna check it to see what it's reading now. Hopefully, it won't be any more than 20%. 20% is really as high as you wanna go on an older caravan. So let's uh, turn that on. And we want it to be on wood, which is good. 18.7 degrees, stick that in there. Oh, 24, 26. Twenty there, twenty-one there. What's this reading over here? Oh, that's only reading fourteen. If you can see that, I was worried about that bit. Thirteen, ten. Yeah, so nine. Even if I stick that right in there, it's still only reading 13.6 and that's right in. So that means that's good. Even though that looks wet, it's not, that's all right. Down there's a little bit of concern, but to be honest, for a 26 year old caravan, um, it's not that bad. I know it looks bad there. But all the new, add a new frame, we put a new frame in all the way up there, goes all the way around, 
up to about there it was on the outside had a new frame new wood obviously the in the in it wasn't repaired from the inside it was repaired from the outside so all the rotten wood was cut out um but obviously the uh that bit there wasn't this didn't happen this all happened afterwards unfortunately that was all nice and clean and, and dry but then that happened a little leak got in and that happened after but i do need to repair that because that's reading 25 wasn't it oh, oh 32 33 yeah that's very wet oh that's off the bloody scale there look 50. Yeah, so I'll go and get some of them damp strips. Damp strips, I'm not chatting about bloody damp strips. Um, not damp strips. Um, the sealing strip, they come out. I've, I showed you it before, um, and I'll have to take off the rail from the outside and clean it all up and put a new bit of sticky sealer tape. That's what it's called, sealing tape. On that and that should do that but the thing is once you've got damp in there it'll never go it never ever go um, so it's just gonna be it's just something now that I've got to keep on top of and maintain and just keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't get any worse if I can stop the water coming in it'll still be damp the wood will still be damp but you know it's not gonna be major it's not gonna be a massive issue if it keeps coming in if you can slow it down do you know what I mean if I can slow it down, I'll be all right. Um, and then maybe in the future, at some point, I might take, roll the uh, aluminium skin back and replace that piece of wood there. But for the time being, that's not going to be the case. I'm just going to uh, seal it up from the outside, and uh, we'll be away there. I've got to order some more Sikaflex. I've run out of Sikaflex as well. Um, five two two is the one that I normally use. But um, yeah, that was the only cause for concern, this rail along here. So I'm glad that that's the only problem now. And the rest of it's nice. Um, I'll have to get someone to come and... Uh, see, I don't know whether I want to do it. Or if I might just pay the, pay the money and get someone to seal up around those skylights again. Because they're not leaking at the moment and I don't really want them to. So might do that in the future, but I don't know yet new boiler and a new water filter that one because they crack and this one had cracked um, the owner that I bought this from a while ago um, said to me that he's already replaced this because it cracked and then it had another crack so got a new water filter in there that's doing well you can take them out and clean them so you don't worry about them new boiler yeah going well so far, touch wood. Awning, I've got another awning as well. Someone wants to give me an awning. One of my mum's neighbours is like, she's like, well, I've got rid of my caravan, but I've got a porch awning sitting in the shed. It's going to be eaten by mice before long. So do you want it? I said, yeah, I'll have that. So I've got to try this awning, see what this one's like, because we've never actually put the awning up. Never, ever we put the awning up. So um, I've got the curtains for it, the lot. So we might, uh, this should be a big awning hopefully um, and then I'll try the smaller porch on in as well and see which one we prefer got to get the old vacuum cleaner in here look got some cobwebs building up in the corner that's not good is it it's a bit it looks a bit wet down there doesn't it let's see if we can uh, so I'll get the torch down there hopefully it's not hopefully it's just reminiscence from the last leak yeah 11% that's fine yeah that's fine that's absolutely fine yeah on an old caravan well on any caravan you know it goes to sort of 11% um, but on an older caravan 20% is about the ceiling it's about as high as you want to go any, any more than 20 and, and it's considered too wet um, but you know, so that bit there is far too wet because that's off the scale, that's 60-70% after all that rain. But luckily, it's only localised there at the moment. All around it's... 14%, 15%. So around it here, 
11 percent 13 14 percent so it's just in this bit here yeah off the scale 22 so i'll seal that up and we'll be well away i think what i'm gonna do and when the summer actually starts to get proper hot because it's quite hot now it's about 20 degrees but um obviously i couldn't wet vac i couldn't shampoo the carpet because um well, obvious reasons but i can i've got some vanish for now that i'm going to put on these um the uh, the settee on the on the back and the seat where you sit in that vanish stuff you spray it on a foam let it dry and then scrub scrub it in and let it dry and then vacuum it up that should give it a bit of a clean a bit of a freshener up but i think i will wet vac them with the george i've got a pneumatic george i think i'll wet vac the cushions i'll take them out when the weather starts to really warm up i'll take all these cushions out look all them and them and the, the back ones i'll take them out put them out in the garden where the sun's on them give them a good old wet vac that should freshen them up nicely um, i've just taken all the covers off these cushions and i'm going to wash all the covers now and then get them done yeah i think that's definitely a plan right well, i'm going to go and put these in the washing machine and get a few other bits and bobs done have a bit of lunch might have a barbecue who knows and i'll catch you a lot on the next one all the best um you wouldn't have learned anything from changing that damper because I didn't actually do any sort of proper instructions on it. You might better have watched the, uh, you might better have watched the time lapse and learned some stuff. Who knows? But um, slowly ticking away, you lot. Slowly ticking away, getting stuff done. So I'll catch you lot on the next one. All the best, and uh, all you people that get to stay at home with the kids and send them to school and chill out at home, don't realise how lucky you are, because uh, this week I've got got off of work. And I'm doing the school run. Then I've got all this time in between. And I'm thinking, what am I going to do with myself? I've got so much to do. I've done so much, man. I've literally, like, done loads of caravan stuff. Got the, done the cam belt on the car. Um, done gardening. You know, shampooed all the carpets indoors. Cleaned all the settee out. Man, I found about £8.50 in coins in that settee. I'll catch you a lot later on. Love life, love each other. All the best.